Hey friends, Amanda here from Faithfully Homemade, and today I'm going to walk you through my unit three of my early learners math curriculum. This curriculum is um, geared towards preschool, kindergarten, first grade, or second grade students. Um, since students are on a different spectrum, all students work at different levels, um, I didn't put a specific grade level on this curriculum, but it's for primary um, students, and you can kind of decide um, if it's right for your children um, after you kind of look through what I'm going to show you. And then um, I'm also going to um, walk you through the activity centers for this curriculum. The first thing I wanted to show you is um, for Unit 3, Unit 3 is all about comparing numbers. Now, each unit has five components. If you've been following me um, or if you already have the curriculum, you, you know this. The f one of the component components is the interactive worksheets. And I wanted to just kind of um, show you right here for Unit 3. These are what they look like. Um, for comparing numbers, the students have to um, color the one that is less on this page. On the lemonade one, they have to color the one that is more. Here they have to compare the candy and write greater, less than, equal to. Um, so here's some more comparing sheets. And um, you can see here they're going to compare dominoes. Here they're going to cut and paste. Um, and then let's see, they're going to roll dice and then they're going to color the greater number and here they're going to roll and color the least number or the smaller number. Um, so those are the interactive worksheets. Then we have, um, the, um, teacher's guide looks like this and it gives you kind of an overview on how to use the unit, and it gives you some skills that this unit's going to cover. This unit's going to cover using number signs greater than, less than, equal to, differentiate between numbers using words greater, more, larger, bigger, smaller, less, fewer, and then count and compare numbers using number signs and words. So this is all about comparing numbers. And then here are some of the, um, this is a list of the activity centers that are in this unit. And then here is a list of the um, interactive worksheets. So you can kind of keep a track of those. Okay, then the next uh, thing we have here are the reference charts. This is what the reference charts look like for this unit. You have one about comparing numbers and showing the students greater than, less than, and equal to. You have words that compare. You have comparison signs, and it talks about how, um, think of an alligator's mouth. The alligator always wants to eat the bigger number. Draw the mouth eating the bigger number. When the numbers are the same, the alligator doesn't know which one to pick, so he keeps his mouth shut and you draw two lines, which is an equal sign. So that's how children can remember the signs. The alligator always wants to eat the bigger number, and then they know which way to put their sign, and then the equal to is when they are the same, the mouth is shut. So, and then the, um, the they come in black and white as well, so you can see that here. Okay, and then the last one on the computer here, did I show you all of them? Okay, so this one, and I believe I showed you the, yeah, oh no, and then this is the unit test. So each unit has a test. So this is the one that I look um, for unit three. And here they're going to compare numbers. And again, over here, and they're gonna draw lines to match and things like that. So just an overview of what it kind of looks like. All right, let's get into the activity centers. Okay, the first activity center is called greatest and least. And what they're going to do is you're gonna have these little strips with all these pictures on them. And they're going to look at the picture, they're going to pick, pick a strip, they're going to count, and they're going to cover up the one that has the most. So they're going to look at each of these um, 10 frames here, and then they're going to use any kind of manipulative. Right now I um, have these uh, because it's fall time, so these are just some little fall um, cute little things that I just bought, um, for my, my kiddos, and they're gonna, they're actually, I think they were supposed to be beads or something, and, um, they're gonna use them to cover up their answer, but you can use any, um, manipulative you have, and so he's going to cover up the larger one. Now, one thing I was doing with him, because he's actually already done this activity center, is I was having him count, and, um, I was writing the number so that he could also see, so these are, um, laminated, so I was using a dry erase marker, and he was counting one two three four five and then I wrote five and then he counted this one was nine and, and I wrote it and then he counted six and he counted seven and then I had him cover it up so you that's another thing you can kind of another component you can add to this activity center but here are what some of the strips look like and they're just going to count this one's flowers and this one is counting he's juggling some balls and this one is candy corns and we have cookies and we have 
um, blowing bubbles and counting ice cream and pepperonis on pizza and chocolate chips on cookies and apples on trees and pumpkins. And this one is um, counting backpacks. And this one's counting kids in a bus. Then we have counting beads and we have counting sprinkles on donuts. Now, another cool thing about this activity center is after they have done it where they cover up the greatest number, you can have them go back through and cover up the smallest number. Okay, this next one is comparing clip cards. And um, I like to keep all of my activity centers in plastic bags and then I um, print out the um, label and I stick it on the bag. Um, the label comes with the activity centers. So that's how, just how I store them. Okay, and then um, here are some examples. You can see it comes with a whole bunch of these cards. And um, here are some examples of them. And then what they're going to do is they're going to count. So here's the top one and here's the bottom one. So this one, five, six, seven, eight. So this number is eight and this number is two. And then they have to decide is eight uh, greater than, equal to, or less than two. So it's greater than, so they're going to cover up. Of course, you could use any kind of manipulative again, um, but you're gonna, they're gonna cover up their answers. So eight is greater than two, or they can use a dry erase marker and they could circle their answer. Or of course, these are clip cards, so they could just go ahead and clip their answer. So either way, just as long as they are doing their answer. So these are just some examples. Um, so this one, they would count the bugs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this one is equal to, eight is equal to eight. Um, and so on, here's another example. And here's another example. And there's just a bunch of different ones. Like obviously this one has apples and so on. Okay, this next one is called Dino Compare It. It comes with this little mat, and then it comes with the dinosaur eggs with the um, greater than, less than, equal to signs, and then it comes with cards with dinosaurs on them. They're going to flip over two cards and put them on the white squares. So here's one, and here's two, and then they're going to count the spikes on the dinosaur's backs, and they're gonna decide um, which sign to put in here. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six spikes on this guy, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spikes on this guy. So six is less than eight, and then they're going to take the um, less than sign and they're gonna stick it right in there, just like so. Then they can do it again. So they'll take these cards off, they use those, put them off to the side, and pick two more cards. And um, they may get an equals to because um, what, you're, what you do is you print off two copies of the page with the dinosaurs so that way um, there's two of every number. So that is what they're gonna do with that one. All right, this next one is called Spin and Compare. And what they're gonna do is there are two spinners, number one and number two. They look like this and then they have a little mat that looks like this. And they're gonna spin the first spinner here I'm just using a pencil and um, a binder clip. And you can just put the pencil there and then, oop, and then spin. And I got a three on that one. And then I'm gonna spin this one. And I got 16. And then I'm gonna look at my mat and decide where three and 16 would go. So three is less than 16. So it would go here on my mat. Um, if I had spun a bigger number and then a smaller number, it would go here. And if I had spun the same number, it would have gone here. And then they can just keep going. Since I'm using a dry erase marker, I can erase it. And um, then when I spin again, I'll have the open spots to figure out where my um, numbers are gonna go again. Now, another thing you can use is um, Amazon has these really cool spinners. You can just, just type in um, game spinners and um, you can buy game spinners and you can use those um, on these spinners as well if you don't wanna use you know, a paper clip and a pencil or a binder clip and a pencil. It might, it's easier for the little kids and I did buy some of those. Um, I, got, I, I got them in a package and I just have not attached them yet, but I'm going to, I plan to anyway. Okay, this next one is flip, build, and compare. Now, my three-year-old actually was doing this one the other day and it was definitely a hit with him. Um, so let me show you how it works. Here are the cards, and what they're gonna do is they're gonna flip over two cards. 
and they're gonna put them on their mat. So I have, whoop. oh, I have four and four. Well, let's do a different one. Um, they will get some that are equal to, but let's do four and six, there we go. Okay, so I have four and six, and then they're gonna take blocks, any kind of blocks you have. These are Lego Duplo blocks, which work really good for like preschoolers, but um, if you have other kind of blocks, you know, whatever blocks that you have. Then they're going to build the number. So I'm gonna count four, and I'm gonna build four, and then on this side, I'm gonna build six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm gonna compare I'm gonna line mine up. You can either have them stand them up and then look at them to compare. Um, they can lay them down to compare. Um, but obviously I can very visually see that six is greater than four. And so then they're gonna just use their dry erase marker and they're gonna write the sign, oops, sorry, that would go in there. So I'm gonna write four is less than six uh, and so on. And then they can take these cards off Flip the next ones over and build the next set. Okie dokie, this next one is compare and match. So you get these cards. You're gonna get cards that look like this that have the um, comparisons. So this is six is less than 10. This one is five is equal to five and so on. And they have to match them up with the, the um, picture cards. So here I have six um, cookie, or six chocolate chips on this one and 10 chocolate chips on this one. So this matches with this, six is less than 10. Here I have five and five, so that matches with five is equal to five. Now I'm putting them in a pocket chart. This is a great activity to use in a pocket chart, but you don't have to do it that way. You can give them a couple different um, picture cards and then give them a couple of different um, answer cards and see if they can match them up. Okay, this one is a count and compare. So. Um, there are these strips that look like this, and there's pictures on them. Um, some of them have balloons, some of them have fish bowls and fish, and then the other one I think is, yeah, piggy banks and pennies, okay? And then what they're gonna do is they're gonna take a, 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 a strip card, they're gonna put it down in front of them, and they're gonna count. So this has five balloons, so in the first circle, they're going to write five on this side. They're gonna count one, two, three, four, five on this side. They're going to write it down, and then they're going to use their sign cards to um, make it true. So I'm going to put equals on that one, and so on. Then they can take another card and do the next one. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then I'm going to use my sign cards to match it up. Okay, this is the very last activity center. This one I would use with probably older kiddos, so not preschool age, but maybe um, you're looking at kindergarten, first, second grade. So um, this is greater or less than 10. So, so here is, um, it's fast food themed, and you get these different cards. I did them in different colors because there's different types. So, so these ones um, have numbers on them. And then um, these ones have 10 frames with stars, if you can see that. And then these ones, these pink ones here, have um, uh, dominoes on them. So what they're going to do is they're going to just look at the number that's on the card and then decide if it's greater than 10 or if it's less than 10. So this card has a six on it. So it is less than 10, so it goes in this spot. And I'm gonna grab another card. This card has eight on it. It is also less than 10. And basically they're just sorting. This card has 34 on it. So this card is definitely greater than 10. So it goes here. And they're just going to count basically, here's a three and it's less than 10. And they're gonna just put them um, on the mat wherever they go. And they can just continue on until they've sorted all of the cards. Uh, like that, and then they can check their work, you know, go through and make sure these, the ones in this pile are all less than 10 and the ones in this pile are all greater than 10. 
Um, I will leave links below in the description box to everything um, that you saw in this video. You can get my early learners math curriculum. You can get all of the units together, the whole curriculum, or you can just get this unit by itself, or you can just get the activity centers by themselves. So I'll leave a link below where you can get everything. And thank you guys for watching. I hope this gives you some great ideas. And especially for those of you who already have my curriculum, this will help you with um, planning out how to use the activity centers and that kind of thing. So anyways, thanks so much for watching guys and we'll see you next time. Bye.